Measurement of blood pressure. This presentation will demonstrate the recommended practices for selection of the appropriate equipment for the measurement of blood pressure, preparing the client for blood pressure measurement, applying the cuff to the client, locating the brachial artery, measuring the blood pressure, recording the blood pressure, concluding the procedure. The equipment required for this procedure is a sphygmo manometer. This may be an aneroid, a mercury type or an electronic version. The measurements from either are recorded as millimetres of mercury. A blood pressure cuff, this is an inflatable rubber bladder inside a cloth cover. A stethoscope, alcohol swabs and a pen and paper to record the measurement. Nope, take a seat. Um, my name's Angela Stewart. I'm a registered nurse, and um, I understand you've come to have your blood pressure checked today. That's right. Have a seat. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Nick, have you ever had your blood pressure checked before? No, I haven't. Okay, so this is the first time. Yep. All right. Well, um, I'm just going to wash my hands, and then I'll explain to you what I'm going to do. Cool. All right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take your blood pressure in this arm. Um, just before I do that, is there any reason I shouldn't take your blood pressure in either of the arms? Check for influencing factors. If the client has recently been exercising or is anxious, you will need to delay the measurement by five minutes. Check that the client does not have conditions which would contraindicate the use of one or other arm, such as an IV line in situ, a previous mastectomy or an arteriovenous shunt. Position of client. The client should be sitting or lying in a comfortable and relaxed position with feet uncrossed. The upper arm should be resting, supported at heart level, and if using a mercury manometer, this should be at your eye level. Selection of appropriate size cuff. The cuff size is selected by assessing the size of the limb on which the measurement is to be made. This is usually the upper arm but may be the thigh if necessary. The width of the blood pressure cuff should be about two thirds of the length of the client's upper arm from axilla to antecubital fossa. The length of the bladder inside the cuff should encircle two thirds of the arm of an adult and the entire arm of a child. An incorrect cuff size will give an inaccurate reading. Expose arm fully. Locate the brachial artery. It usually helps to extend the arm to locate this artery. Note the position and return the arm to the slightly flexed, relaxed and supported position. Correct placement of cuff. Now I just need to make sure I put it in the right place, so I just have to measure this so that I do it all. The deflated cuff should be evenly wrapped around the arm with the centre of the bladder about 2.5 centimetres above the brachial artery in the antecubital fossa. Determine baseline. Now palpate the radial artery. Close the pressure valve and inflate the cuff, noting the point at which the pulse is obliterated. And continuing for another 20 to 30 millimetres of mercury to avoid missing an auscultatory gap. Release the pressure valve to deflate the cuff quickly and completely. And wait 15 seconds. Just relax your arm and I'll take your blood pressure now. Place the stethoscope earpieces into your ears and the bell if you have one, or the diaphragm over the brachial artery. Inflate the cuff to 20 to 30 millimetres of mercury above the palpated systolic pressure. Deflate the cuff slowly and evenly at about two to three millimetres of mercury per second. Note this point at which you first hear the sound of the heartbeat. This is the systolic blood pressure. And the point at which you hear the last sound, this is the diastolic blood pressure.
continue to deflate the cuff slowly for 10 to 20 millimetres of mercury. Then, if no further sounds are heard, deflate it quickly and completely. It's great. It's 120 over 78, which is very normal for someone of your age. Remove the cuff. Return a client to a comfortable position and assist to adjust clothes as necessary. So that's great. That's that's a good blood pressure for your age. Uh, are you aware how often you should have your blood pressure checked? No. Okay, so it's recommended that you have it done every five years, and when you get to 40, that you have it every three. Okay. All right, so um, if we don't need to see you before that, I'll see you in five years' time to have your blood pressure checked. Thank you. Okay, great. See you later. Wash hands. Record the blood pressure using even numbers in the appropriate file, noting position of client, which arm was used, and the cuff size, if not the standard size. 